Hello everyone, welcome back to the Homeowner Series. It's a beautiful Saturday here at the house. Today I have a few small projects planned and then we'll be hopping on the new mower and mowing the lawn for the first time. Since building the house, we've not yet mowed the lawn. I've been waiting for the sod to really be ready to go for a mower to be on it. I just backed the F-250 out of the garage. Let's back the Hellcat out. I do want to wash both and then we'll be doing some mods to the Hellcat. If you do end up enjoying today's video, please drop a like. It's much appreciated here as it helps out with the YouTube algorithms. I'm really excited to be back here with the series, especially at this house. We have lots of projects planned, and later on today I will be giving you guys a sneak peek on a few that I'm currently working on with some designers, and I can't wait for those here. But we did end up getting a brand new pressure washer. It is a car chart. Now this is one pretty cool mod. It does come as a place bowl, where you can actually pick it up and move it around here. We'll just move it right outside the door to give us a little bit more uh, length for the hose. Now I have decided for the Hellcat, why don't we wrap both the hood, uh, the roof and the trunk black. I think that would look really nice. Now I did actually change the version of the Hellcat here and change the color slightly and many of you guys really did like that video. I can't wait to continue uh, to do some more things here too. Maybe we'll put some drag tires on it and take it down the drag strip. There we go for the Hellcat. Let's get the F-250 wash here. Now, I'm, I am a big fan of keeping all the vehicles detailed and maintained. They just look so awesome when they're done, and it looks awesome. Now, throughout the week, I did do the improvements to the garage, which I will showcase in a bit when we go pick a few more of the, uh, materials up for it. But there we go. Uh, perfect. We'll move this inside. Now, for the wrap, we are actually getting a brand new tool chest as well. It is a Stanley $750 for the cart and the tools all put together, which is a pretty good deal in my opinion. You can't always have enough tools. You just got to keep buying them. Perfect, that seems to be good here. So let's get the toolbox put in place and then we'll get going on wrapping. $750 later, the Stanley toolbox is in place. I decided, why don't we just put it right next to the garage door? Now, I really do wish we could kind of roll this cart around. That would be such a cool thing to do. But let's hop here in the Hellcat and get it moved over. Now, I really am excited here for it. Now, I just decided to go with black satin. There won't really be a shine to it uh, like the regular paint. And if we don't like it, we could always take it off. And that's the best part about wrap. And uh, that is awesome. And it kind of protects the paint in a few ways here. So let's hop here to the store and let's Let's get going here on it. So there are a few uh, different ones. You guys can see black satin hood. Uh, we have the roof. We also have the uh, trunk. We'll just have to keep going through these options. And there we go. After about $600 worth of wrap material in 3-4 hours, my hands are a bit uh, tired from that, but wow, that thing looks awesome there. Look at that, guys. The uh, black uh, satin really looks awesome here. Definitely ma kind of makes it even much more aggressive and much sportier. Now let me know down below in the comments guys, what is your favorite car we've owned here with the homeowner series? Currently, we own the uh, GT3 and the Hellcat, but we've owned some pretty cool sport cars. Alright, so let's get this rolled back here in the garage and let's head on out. We are actually going to be picking up some lights for the new garage. So we did build this garage a 25 by 35 and we've been doing a lot of work here too, which is awesome. It's come a long way and we still have lots more to do. Now, if you guys are stopping by here for the first time, I do ask that you please subscribe. It's much appreciated as we are growing, growing uh, closer to 100,000 subscribers. Now, within the next month, I do plan to trade out this F-250 Tremor, although I really do like it a lot. It's time to just move on to the next truck. Now, I am looking, maybe there's a few newer Rams that we could pick up, or even a newer uh, Silverado, maybe a t another 2020, or we'll buy something a little bit older. And if you guys haven't already, I do recommend you go give me a follow over on Instagram. I am posting every single day over there uh, some pretty cool sneak peeks and updates about the channel. Now, I will have to say this is by far my top favorite Ford. It's such an awesome truck. 7.3, the uh, Tremor package is really cool. The off-road look, and we have the 8-foot bed. We really do need the 8-foot bed for all the projects we do around the house. Now, this upcoming week here on the channel, we do lots more cool content. The landscaping series, the tree services, and we will be starting on building uh, something with a construction company as well. Just lots of cool videos, and I should be with the farming series soon. I am currently working on the next video with it. 
So I decided to go with the LED lights here for the garage and a few of these boxes are actually the garage door openers. We got all the power but we need the openers for the doors uh, to go up and down. Now between both these pallets here, I would say this is probably a thousand uh, to uh, twelve hundred dollars worth of materials, uh, but uh, definitely it will be really helpful, and I, we should be able to just kind of push the pallet forward. I've really been liking this series here as we've been doing projects to the house, really improving it, and I am trying to design a backyard with a pool, hot tub, things like that that I cannot wait for here. Now let's see, can we put a few straps on it? That way it at least just won't move, won't be sliding around, we'll just strap down the pallet. I think that's just the way to go. Perfect. And let's head on out. As you guys can see, the Tremor is just a great workhorse here. Not only does it look good, it just uh, looks awesome. But the front ends of these new uh, 2020s look awesome. Look at that. So like I have touched upon, we will be mowing our yard here for the first time. Once we get back there, get everything unloaded, we'll be hopping on the mower for the first time. That Cub Cadet 96 inch mower will be putting to work. Now I'm probably estimating our property will be maybe two hours worth of mowing. We have such a big mower and it goes pretty fast as well at 10 to 12 miles per hour. So we should be good, maybe even an hour. I will definitely let you guys know tomorrow how long it takes, but I can't wait. You guys always comment, the grass is always tall and it's finally time to mow it. Now like I did touch upon earlier, I've been just waiting for the sod to really uh, be good to go. You don't want to be mowing a brand new sod a, a week after you install it. So I waited about, I would say about three weeks, three to four weeks before our first mow here. So that should be good enough and I can't wait uh, to hop on the mower. Now I really do like this driveway here. I do possibly want to add some uh, bushes and things like that to it as well. But here we are and you guys can see, look at that guys. Big difference. We have the uh, plywood up top there and uh, all of the drywall is in place. This thing looks awesome. Definitely looks more like a shop. Now let me know down below in the comments guys. Should we go with a two post lift or a four post? I am deciding uh, between the two. Maybe a four post because we could buy another old classic car or truck or uh, do we buy a two post let me know down below on that but let's get this unloaded here and then it will hop on the mower now with these homeowner series videos I always just try to stay as busy as we can here because uh, we're working all week long here now I really want to kind of have a job for this series as well I think that would be a pretty uh, nice thing to do here but I can't wait for all of these lights to be working and uh, definitely will be awesome especially since it will uh, start to get darker earlier soon with the seasons changing with the seasons changing, I have noticed the temperatures have been a bit colder as well, and having a hot tub would be nice on these colder uh, nights that we've been having. But let's hop here over, uh, I believe this shop door works, let's just double check, yes it does, that's awesome, we'll close that, we'll get the door opened up, perfect, sometimes we have noticed the door is a bit sticky, but this is the first time getting to use the brand new Cub Cadet here, it's going to be awesome, and this is a Pro Z900 with uh, the bigger deck here, now I have noticed those tires really don't work on the uh, kind of concrete slab there, but up next I do really want to fold out the roll bar, perfect, and I think why don't we get mowing uh, over here, that way we aren't shooting the grass right up against the driveway. Now I'm a big fan of mowing and landscaping and I definitely uh, uh, enjoy it as well. Awesome, so first time mowing here, the first time uh, doing anything especially at a new uh, house like this is awesome. You guys can already see just how fast we're going, it's pretty quick I will have to say. Oh yeah, just look at that. Now we do have to watch out for Diesel, and uh, we do want to make sure he's not running around here, but he's really been enjoying it, and I really do wish the dog script would let the dog uh, kind of run further away from the dog house and around the farm, around the area would be awesome. I've really been enjoying all these farm sim videos. They've been a ton of fun to film, and I definitely just can't wait for everything to come here. Lots of cool things in the work. I'm getting very close to revealing the big project as well, uh, which is going to be awesome. We'll just do this little patch here, and then we'll get back to the main stretch. And perfect, and we'll get back here. Really want to try to do our best to do uh, the best striping we can here. I will say striping in farm sim is tricky uh, with how we could have it look, but if we could do it, it would look awesome. 
Look at this Cub Cadet. This thing looks pretty cool. The biggest zero turn I think I've ever ran in Farm Sim as well. It's just so big. We'll have to mow along the uh, fence line here. Now, I'm just trying to shoot the grass away from it. Even the uh, fence here. Really don't want grass stains or even grass going all the way out there to the uh, road area. Now, I do want to put bushes and things all along here. Really have one of the best properties on the street. That's the goal. Yeah, I think we'll do one big loop kind of outlining the property. And then we'll try to focus uh, and do a really good job striping. And we can't fit through there. Good thing I slowed down just in time. And looks like we do have a little bit of a gap here in fencing. So I'll definitely have to call up the fence uh, builder and see if they can fix it. Now let me know down below in the comments, guys. What do you mow your yard with if you do mow the lawn? If not, uh, how does your yard get mowed? Now we do have to pick up weed eaters soon as well. Definitely, I definitely need one. Wow, it looks like just all these trees along this fence line really are just too close. So that means a little bit more weed eating, which is no problem. And you guys can see the uh, trailer port is really nice. I kind of like this uh, setup that we have. Instead of having a shed, uh, we kind of have a garage kind of mixed with a pole barn for storage. Oh yeah, this will be a pretty long uh, time mowing, and I'm probably going to guess just right off the bat, probably about an hour uh, to get it all mowed at the very least. Trying to get as close as I can here to the fence without getting too, too close, and we definitely have to get to this close here, but the grass grew in pretty well, I will have to say, for it being solid. Sometimes, if you don't water it, you do run into problems, but had no problem, which is great. The Cub Cadet seems to be doing a really good job. Sometimes when you're mowing, kind of at the max speed that uh, they do allow, sometimes you just run into problems of uh, the mower really not being able to handle all of it. But so far, it doesn't seem to be too bad here. Really just wanted to kind of do the front yard area, and then we'll call it a day. I would... Uh, definitely finish this here off camera and I also will be working on getting our lights installed so I think tomorrow you guys will be seeing a freshly mowed lawn along with having all those lights installed here but let's lay down some pretty good stripes just back and forth trying my best here it is tricky but it is awesome it's always nice to be behind a mower here especially a big mower like this uh, and, and this is a pretty pricey mower as well Now, I think tomorrow we are going to our Cars and Coffee here in town. Now, I will have to say, with the seasons changing, there's really not too many more car shows. So, I think we'll try to enjoy uh, the uh, sport cars as much as we can uh, before the uh, snow hits. And I can't wait for uh, snow. So many cool things we'll be doing here with the series. Just back and forth here, laying down some really good stripes. It is tricky, but I'm trying my best here. So I think this is a pretty good stopping point here for us. I will hop inside the house here really quickly, and let's grab a bottle of water here, and then I will get back to it. Now, if you guys did touch upon this fridge, uh, it is one expensive fridge here. Look at that. We'll just kind of use the touch screen, and it will get a water. Perfect. Hope you guys enjoyed today's homeowner series video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one, and subscribe for more.